Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Um, uh, first of all, I'd like to apologize uh, for not um, putting any content up for, for um, sort of 10 or 11 days. It's actually because I've been too busy kind of having fun and been a bit um, bowled over by what's been going on. So just to very briefly recap, and I will be doing two or three videos on, on, on what's been going on in the last couple of weeks in my world. But specifically, I've had two main kind of visits one from um, an artist and producer and the other from um, um, a mastering engineer and um, an engineer record producer as well. Two completely unrelated separate uh, projects, but mind-blowingly interesting and good fun and, and involving listening to masters versus different types of masters, tape masters, digital masters, and then masters versus acetates and test pressings. Um, and yeah, just really, really, really interesting stuff. And what I want to talk about first is um, I had a visit from Jennifer Crook and her producer. This is her new album, The Broken Road Back Home. Now, Jennifer Crook, is a um, a singer songwriter, kind of in the folk rock um, genre. I would say is fairly fairly safe to say, sort of folky, but it's it's definitely more folk rock. I would liken it to uh, more to Fairport Convention than um, uh, but than sort of plain you know vanilla folk, if you like. Um, you know, or or Dylan, you know, 1960s electric Dylan, you know, with sort of um, in the sort of uh, highway, bringing it all back home up to sort of uh, blonde on blonde era Dylan, that kind of general kind of feel and groove. So, you know, folk Americana kind of that kind of thing going on. And she came along with her producer, and her producer for this album is uh, no less than Stuart Bruce, who is a bit of a uh, megastar in, in, in the uh, studio world. He's a multi-platinum award-winning recording engineer. Uh, Stuart Bruce actually worked on the, um, the Band-Aid project back in the, what was that, about 1984 or something, I think. Um, where the, the, do, they, do They Know It's Christmas? Uh, I'm pretty sure he mixed that. He was certainly a recording engineer on the project. And, um, you know, just imagine mixing sort of 50 of the biggest A-list uh, um, talent and egos that there were at the time and um, had to do it in record time and, and please everybody. And, of course, did please everybody. And if that wasn't big enough... Uh, Stuart Sutherland credits amongst his credits. He was recording engineer on Frankie Goes to Hollywood. First album, Welcome to the Pleasure Dome. If you think back to Relax and um, Two Tribes, I mean, certainly when I was in my late teens, early 20s, they were just mind-blowing, the effect. You know, I mean, you could not get them off your turntable. They sounded immense. Um, and also... Um, I'm a massive Yes fan, as any of you who've watched my channel for a little while will know. Uh, and Stuart um, mixed uh, 90125. <clears throat> and, um, you know, we, we had some stories about that. And, and you know, he was telling me uh, while he was here about um, Owner of a Lonely Heart specifically and, and, you know, how basically I think they used his rough mix as the final mix. And... Um, I mean, yeah, mind-blowingly interesting. So Stuart uh, recorded, mixed and produced this, uh, produced it along with Jennifer, the artist. And it's, um, it's, it's, it's folk rock of the, of, the, of the highest order, I would say, really. Uh, if I run through the titles on this, um, Battle of Scars, I mean, that one is, uh, this is the second track. That really kind of gets me, and I'm I'm talking about the music, you know, the the words. I mean, it's it's very poetic. It's it. She's a great songwriter. Um, uh, you know, this is actually her fifth album. She's toured with Snow Patrol. She's she's you know she's um, um 
very worthwhile looking up, I would suggest. I'll put a link down below, uh, Jennifer, jennifercrook.com, though. Uh, but um, very, very, very much worth looking up. But for me, they came around to listen to specifically the test pressings um, and check that they were okay. And of course, I've, I've still got on loan um, from when Akisan visited the DS Audio Grandmaster, which is just a mind-blowingly revealing um, phono cartridge and, and pre-amplifier uh, EQ system. Unbelievably revealing. Uh, and they came around to have a listen on that. And uh, that was supremely interesting because they also brought along an acetate and uh, the digital master the, from which it was made. So to be able to compare all three, uh, you know, in the comfort of your own home um, <laughs> with the recording engineer and the artist, uh, the composer artist, it, um, um, yeah, it was, uh, that was a day made in heaven from my perspective, believe me, especially with the added stories about, you know, yes, and Frankie goes to Hollywood and Band-Aid. I mean, wow, 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 wow. wow. Um, and I will just add in now that I have asked them whether they'll come back and we can do like, uh, you know, I'll, I'll maybe do first, I'll do a video with them, Jennifer, uh, about the writing of and, 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 and you know, about this album and, um, and, and, and with Stuart there and talk about the sound and then separately uh, get Stuart back and just, uh, uh, I'll just probe him for stories of, the uh, you know, the, the recording of you know frankie goes to hollywood yes band-aid um you know wow i'm sure those would be uh you know i mean i'd, I'd watch those videos <laughs> so i hope you i hope you will anyway back to this as the subject of this particular video so it's a really really interesting and good album um very kind of uh poetic in in, in its lyrical um um composition and musically, as uh, it's yeah, it's folk rock, but it, it verges on folk prog rock. I would say. I think Stewart's influence is coming out thick and thick and strong here. Um, and Battle Scars. I mean, it's just it's it's got this most fantastic bass guitar sound, sort of like bow wow wow. Um, and and chatting to him. I mean, Stuart plays the bass on this, and he was saying that what he's done is he's double tracked two bass guitars. I mean, he's obviously playing them both and he's recorded them both and mixed them both and blah, blah, blah. But one of them is uh, a fretted and the other one is a fretless and he's, he's, he's double tracking the same the same line on the two instruments. And um, it just sounds fantastic. But all the way through it, you've got, I mean, you've got, um, I mean, it's beautifully played and performed. Um, I mean, both, both uh, uh, Bruce and Crook play acoustic guitars uh, as I mentioned before, Bruce plays um, the bass guitars throughout. Um, Battle of Scars, uh, the second track, that really, really stood it out for me. Um, Strange Red Sun, the, tr the fourth track on side one. Um, again, it's just, it opens, you'd think you were listening to uh, um, a lost yes uh, track. It's 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 very proggy kind of. Um, there's um, all throughout the album. There's um, there's a Hammond organ going on, but it mixed. I mean, really subtly into the background. Uh, Dan Moore is the organist. <clears throat> um, uh, you've got uh, Rob Bryan on drums, who's played with Susie uh, Susie Sue Goldfrapp. Um, you know, plenty of other. Uh, you know, very noteworthy bands. A guy called Joe Coombs, who I don't know, on electric guitars, slide guitar, backing vocals. And, um, I mean, again, it's like the, the, the mixing together of like this this sort of, you know, the bass, acoustic bass, sorry, not acoustic bass, um, fretted bass and fretless bass kind of mixed together with with electric guitar and slide guitar. And, and the, the way that the... Um, arrangements and, and the mixing is put together is uh frankly it's, it's inspired and gifted and, and you've got to take your hat off to uh um you know to, to Stuart for his work there and obviously Jennifer because you know it's a the producer at the end of the day um is employed by the artist to do the job um 
and Jennifer is also listed as a producer here so she's telling him what to do kind of thing and um, he gets it very 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 right I will say um, well, it brings a, a huge smile to my face um, Aftermath which is the last track on side one well track five on the CD um, it's uh, it's kind of like a tongue in cheek um, um, tribute to Bob Dylan I would say it's just it's it's just uh, I won't say any more than that it's beautiful it's fantastic and it's it, it, it just will make if you're a Dylan fan it will make you smile from ear to ear um, Brand New Day I think is a track where there's a it's a duet yeah it is um, I'm not sure who's singing on I'm not sure who's singing there whether that's some um, Joe Coombs or not I'm not entirely certain oh no Brent Jones Brent Jones is singing on that track um, but yeah the whole album is really 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 good um, musically you know uh, compositionally it's it's uh, it's catchy it's melodic it's uh, excuse me Toby hello Toby I did have a comment on my video um, but maybe we'll see Toby one day, or maybe we will. <laughs> um, anyway, sorry, that's my cat, Toby. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful album. It's 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 melodic, it's lyrical, it's beautifully produced and mixed. Um, as I say, the the the, the feel of the drums, um, the feel of the cymbals, just absolutely delicious. Uh, there's this there's this Hammond nearly all the way through, just sort of very subtly there in the background. The bass is just exceptionally wonderful to listen to. Um, the guitars, um, you know, it's 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 performed beautifully, recorded beautifully, mixed beautifully. Um, it's a fantastic sounding record. It really, really, really is. And to have the option, the um, the experience of listening to the master, digital master to uh, an, an, an unplayed acetate and um, an unplayed test pressing. In fact, they bought, they bought, they had six test pressings produced and they bought all of them along. And this was the first time any of these had been played. So, you know, uh, along, along with the artist and the producer, we were the first people, you know, that was the first time this was played on, um, on a, you know, an analog replay medium. And it sounds magnificent. And for what it's worth, I actually preferred the sound on vinyl to the master and to the uh, acetate. It was slightly kind of slightly softer, uh, but in a very, very, very nice way. When I kind of try and describe that bass sound of that, you know, the, the sort of fretless and fretted bass double tracks, sort of bow, wow, wow, just um, it just suited vinyl. It suits it. It sounded absolutely magnificent so um i say you can buy this already on cd or download uh the lp officially will be launched i believe on the 22nd so what's that next week um and uh it's you can buy them from jennifercrook.com i will put a link down in the description and the 12 inch vinyl lp comes in a lovely gatefold cover i think um you know you can be a signed limited edition of it for 25 pounds which doesn't sound bad to me and the cd if you want the cd um it's 10 pounds or i think for a limited while again you can get a signed copy for for 12 pounds I and mean, really that's not very much money is it for some beautiful music beautifully recorded um beautifully produced and beautifully presented and um as I say, I will, um, it was great to meet them. It was a really fun day. I will put some photos in throughout this, uh, you know, this video. I'll, I'll overlay a couple of photos of us sitting there listening. And um, I will invite them back. Uh, they, well, I have invited them back and they said they'd come. So look, you know, keep keep looking and we'll, we'll have a video with Jennifer and, and Stuart talking about the composition, uh, performance, recording, etc. of the album. And then separately, uh, I can't resist getting Stuart back to, to, you know, wax lyrical about uh, 
recording Frankie Goes to Hollywood, recording Yes, recording Band Aid. You know, I mean, I, I would uh, listen to that all day long. So, hope you've enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you have, please. Uh, it helps the channel. If you're enjoying, uh, if you're enjoying what I do, please subscribe. And um, yeah, feel free to comment, share, and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you all soon. Thank you very much indeed. Bye now. Bye.